यमुन जीवन खेल पारायण मन सचंद्र जीवन खेल पारायण मन सचंद्र नम शुरया नम शुरा कृष्णया राखो वचन मनम भगवते वसुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाया नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोतम दैवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नस्तप्रयु वद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती रीडिंग श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो सिक्स कैंटो सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन We're on cha- the beginning, just beginning chapter number sixteen, text number one. Text number one. Shri Badarai Nirvacha. अथा 
Devarishi Rajan Samparitam Nripatmajam Darshayit Viti Hovacha Gyatinam Anusochatam Shri Badaraya Nirvacha Atta Deva Rishi Rajan Samparitam Nipatmajam Darshai Itvati Hovacha Gyatinam Anusochatam Shri Badarayana Ruvacha Atta Deva Rishi Rajan Samparitam Nipatmajam Darshai Itvati Hovacha Gyatinam Anushochatam Shri Badarayana Ruvacha Atta Deva Rishi Rajan Samparitam Nipatmajam Darshai Edvati Hovacha Gyatinam Anushochatam
Shri Badaraine Vacha, Shri Sukadeva Goswami said, Ata, thus, Devarishi, the great sage Narada. Rajan, O King, Samparitam, dead, Nipa Atmajam, the son of the King, Darshayadva, Making visible, Making visible. Ah, just a minute. Mm. Et, Et thus, thus. Ha. ha, indeed, Uvacha explained. Gyatinam to all the relatives. Anusochatam who were lamenting. Translation Sri Sukadeva Goswami said, My dear King Parikshit, by his mystic power, the great sage Narada brought the dead son into the vision of all the lamenting relatives and then spoke as follows. No purport, we'll read the next verse. Sri Narada Muni said, O living entity, all good fortune unto you. You see your father and mother, all your friends and relatives are overwhelmed with grief because of your passing away. There's no purport, we'll read text number three. Because you died untimely, the balance of your lifetime still remains. Therefore, you may re-enter your body and enjoy the remainder of your life, surrounded by your friends and relatives, accept the royal throne and all the opulences given by your father. 
，由于过早的死去，你的寿命还有剩余，因此你可以重新进入你的躯体，由你的朋友和亲人围绕着，享受你剩余的寿命，接受你父亲给你的王座和全部财富。No purport will read the next verse. By the mystic power of Narada Muni, the king or the living entity remembered or re entered his dead body for a short time and spoke in reply to Narada Muni's request. He said, According to the results of my fruitive activities, I the living being transmigrate from one body to another, sometimes going to the species of the demigods, sometimes to the species of lower animals, sometimes among the vegetables, and sometimes to the human species. Therefore, in which birth were these my mother and father? No one is actually my mother and father. How can I accept these two people as my parents? Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Here it is made clear that the living being enters a material body that is like a machine created by the five great elements of material nature – earth, water, fire, air and sky – and the three subtle elements – mind, intelligence and ego. As confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, there are two separate identities called the inferior and superior natures, which both belong to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. According to the results of a living entity's fruitive activities, he is forced to enter the material elements in different types of bodies. The time, this time, the living this time the living entity was supposed to have been the son of Maharaj Chitraketu and Queen Krit Kritadyuti because according to the laws of nature he had entered a body made by the king and queen. Actually, however, he was not their son. The living entity is the son of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And because he wants to enjoy this material world, the Supreme Lord gives him a chance to enter various bodies. The living entity has no true relationship with the material body he gets from his material mother and father. He is part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, but he is allowed to go through different bodies. The body created by the so-called father and mother actually has nothing to do with its so-called creators. Therefore, the living entity flatly denied that Maharaj Chitraketu and his wife were his father and mother. Yao 
水火空气空间和三种精微元素心智，简是以智型的假我和智型的如机器般的物质躯体。正如国家范格中说明，创造中有两种分开的能量，分别被称为是低等自然和高等自然，两者都归智型人格手神所有。生物同时公益性活动结果，是它被迫进入由物质元素构成的各种躯体。这一次。按照大自然的法律，应当做接受君主王和亏待君主王后的儿子的那个生物，不得不进入由君王和王后结合制成的躯体。但事实上，他并非他们的儿子，生物是至尊哥守神的儿子。由于他想要享受这个物质世界，至尊主就给他机会进入各种躯体。生物与他从生身父母那里得到的物质躯体没有真正的关系，他是至尊主不可缺少的一部分。但被允许经历不同的躯体，有所谓父母制成的躯体，是其实与所谓制造它的制造者毫无关系。正因如此，那生物断然否定，据说冰帝王和冰在冰帝王后是他的父母。Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Vanchakaupatarubhyascha kripa sindubhayevacha patitanam pavanhebhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadha Shri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we're hearing about Maharaj Chitraketu, how he had lost his only son. His son had died. Maharaj Chitraketu married many wives, and he could not get a child. But then he got visited by two great sages, Narada Muni and Angira Muni, and he requested them, "Please bless me. I want to have a child." A king naturally must have a son to take over the kingdom after him. So Maharaj Chitraketu was desperate to have a son. So the two sages blessed him. You will have a child. This child will bring you happiness. He will also bring you distress. So it was arranged. The first wife would conceive a child. And the king was very joyful when his wife delivered a son. But there was a problem. All the other wives were jealous. Because only the one wife, the first wife, delivered a child, and none of the other wives had any child. So all the wives, they decided we will give the child poison. And the child, they gave poison to the child, and then naturally the child died. So when the child died, the king was. Completely devastated, he was so upset. So 
After a long time, he had got a child, and now the child had died suddenly. So it was very painful for the king. He was lamenting, and then the sages came to visit him. Right? They had blessed him to have a child. Now the child had died. They came to see him again. And by the mystic power of Narada, he brought the child back to life. And then he questioned the child, why are you going? Why are you leaving your mother and father? Yeah, you he, Narada told the boy, you died untimely. We will give you back your life and you can remain in your situation. You can stay with your father and enjoy all the money, all the opulence of your father. But the child spoke to Narada and he said, who, who is my father and mother? Well, I've had many fathers and mothers. Sometimes, sometimes I take birth as an in the, in the, in the demigod species. Sometimes I'm in the animal species. Sometimes I'm in the plant species. Everywhere we have a mother and father. Hmm, they have a saying in Bengali, the Bengali people, they say, Janami Janami Sabi Pita Matapai, Krishna Guru Nahimili Baja Horiyoi. There's, there's the Bengali people say, Everyone has got a mother and father, even the dogs and the insects and the fish and the birds, they all have their mother and father. So it's not very special to have a mother and father. But if you have a, a guru, if you have a spiritual teacher, then by the mercy of the spiritual teacher, you can get Krishna. That's special. So, we have to understand how the material nature is under the control of the Supreme Lord. And it's by the arrangement of the Supreme Lord we get a body. The material body is given to us according to our karma, according to our qualification. And also according to our own desire. And in this way we are taking birth again and again in the material world. And we are, in every birth we become attached, we identify with the family. We are thinking, my mother, my father, my family, my relatives. All of these things, this is all 
the identification with the material body. This relationship with the material body is it our ignorance, it's our illusion. Right? Lord Krishna describes in the Bhagavad Gita the body is just like a dress. Right? Who knows the verse from the Bhagavad Gita? Who knows the verse? Just like you change the dress, you change. Vasham chijarnani yata vihaya navani grenati naroparani tata sharirani vihaya jarnani anyani samyati navani dehi. Prabhupada would always ask us, what is the verse he wanted us to learn the slokas? Right, we have to learn these slokas, we have to get them by heart, know them. And then we have to be able to use them to preach. We don't want to remain attached to the material body. You become attached to the material body, you take birth again and again. We take birth due to the attachment to the skin. This is what Prabhupada calls the skin disease. Right? We are thinking, I am this body, this belongs to me, my family. Of course, we have a relationship with the family. By our karma, we are placed into a particular situation. But we should understand it is a temporary relationship. It is not eternal. Simply we are put together. Just like, we give the example, just like you go on the bus. You sit in a bus and you sit with people in the bus and you go on the bus and then you get to destiny, you get off the bus, you don't see the people again. In the same way, we take birth in a particular family, we come together, we live together for some time, we identify with each other, my family, but it's very temporary. We can be together for some time, but not forever. So Narada Muni wanted to instruct the king in the temporary nature of material relationships. The king was actually a very advanced devotee. But he had become attached to his own child. Naturally, you have a child, you feel very attached, you identify with the child. But, you know, just like you know, your child, your ch you have a child, the child grows up, the child goes away, doesn't stay with you forever. The child will go off to college, you study there, you get new friends, 
and then you will go and take a job somewhere, you will get married, you will have his own family. And we are left alone. In course of time, we also have to leave the body, give up the body, take another birth. And you take the next birth, you don't know where it will be. It can be anywhere in any species of life. And so people have to be more thoughtful. They have to think about self-realization to understand who they actually are. We see in the material world, people devote themselves so much to the material body. They'll spend so much time on the skin, taking care of the skin. And then the hair. People like, they'll spend a lot of money to get their hair done. So many things they have to do for the body. Some people, they don't like the color of their eyes and they will get the color of their eyes changed. And of course they change the color of their hair also. They change the color of their skin sometimes. Hmm. People that were so much attached and dedicated to take care of the body. And we forget all about our real self as a soul. We do nothing for the soul. We never take time to chant or to hear. We will spend our whole life thinking about our family, our dear ones. But at the time of death, they cannot save us. We have to prepare our own self for leaving the body. So Narada Muni was so kind that he came back to instruct Maharaj Chitraketu about the real identity of the person. By his mystic power, he could bring the young child back to life. And the young child could speak philosophy to the parents. Yeah, telling the parents, you're not my father and mother. Just like when we go to Mayapur Dam, there's one place we go to where there's, there was this one devotee named Saranga, Sar Saranga Thakur, and he was an old man and he had no disciples. So Lord Chaitanya told him, he said, you know, you should take a disciple, Saranga. So Saranga Thakur said, okay, tomorrow morning, the first person I meet, I will make him my disciple. So it happened next morning, early in the morning, Saranga Thakur was going to take his bath. He'd go into the Ganga, take bath in the Ganga early in the morning. 
。这个第二天次日清晨呢，他就来到恒河，在清晨在恒河沐浴。And what happened when he went into the Ganga? He put his foot in the water. He touched the body. There was a body floating at the side of the Ganga. It was the body of a young boy. And it happened that this young boy had been bitten by a snake. And the poison in the snake caused the boy to fall unconscious. So the 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 family all thought the boy was dead. So when it's a young boy, they don't burn the body. They just put it on a banana boat. They made a boat from a banana tree and put the body on the boat and sent it down the river. But when Saranga Marari touched the boy with the foot, the boy came back to life. He, he, he got up again. So the young boy told Marari what had happened, that he'd been bitten by a snake, and family all thought he was dead. So the young boy said, I, just, I will just stay with you. But then after some time, after some time, the boy's mother and father and the family, the relatives, they heard that their son had, was still alive. So they came there to the ashram of Saranga and they found the boy and they told the boy, Oh, look, you should come home now. You're our son. You should come home. <coughs> but the, the young boy said, No, no, I'm, I already died. <laughs> And that's not my home anymore. <coughs> I have my home now. I have a new home here. I'm staying here with Saranga Thakur. Mm -hmm. So the boy refused to go back with the mother and father. He stayed with Saranga Thakur and he became a great devotee. Hmm. The mother and father, parents, all the relatives who were all pleading, Oh, you should come home, you should come home. But he said, no, he said, home. He said, you put me on the boat. You put me down the Ganga. You didn't keep me at home. You sent me away. You want me to come back again? You, you were the one who sent me away. I didn't leave. You put me on the boat. You put me down the Ganga. So this was the intelligence of this young boy. He, he understood the, the real nature of life. And he took advantage of that situation to surrender himself to a great devotee. So he got the name Morari. He became known as Saranga's Morari. Morari means 
Marari was his name, the Guru's name was Saranga. So it's a true story, a very famous incident which took place. Just like here in Srimad Bhagavatam, we're hearing about Chitraketu and how he also became so attached to his son. When the son died, it was unbearable. So attachment to the material is the cause of the greatest entanglement of the living entity. The more we are attached to the material, the more we will suffer. So we have to change the attachment from material to spiritual. We have to understand it's not wrong to be attached, but we should be attached to the spiritual energy, not the material energy. Just like there, there, was, the, there was this one place in, in the USA, they were doing research and they were, pra they were, they were uh, doing research in talking to animals, talking to monkeys and getting them to talk back. So they were talking to the monkeys and what happened in course of time, one of the monkeys died. So they asked the other monkey, you know, what happened to the other monkey? Where did he go? And the monkey said, you know, pointed to the ground, he said, like that, buried in the ground, he got put in the ground. And so monkeys, they think like that. They can only understand the body. But the living people with intelligence understand what happened when somebody dies, we, we say, they've gone. Yeah, they've gone, they've left the body, they've gone some other place. All right. One who takes birth has to die. And when you're dead, you take birth again, you take some other body. So we want to be careful to make arrangements that we don't take birth in the, this material uh, condition. We want to make sure of a very good destination in the future. The material world is simply a temporary place of suffering. But we can transcend the material energy. We can go out, get out. We can go to the spiritual world. Right? We have our book, Coming Back, right? The Science of Reincarnation. So the last chapter in the book is called Don't Come Back. <laughs> if you come back again, it means we failed in our life. Right? If we fail, oh, it's a lot of trouble. You have to take birth again and again, go through all the pains. 
果失败了的话，那就麻烦大了，还得再次重来一遍，经历许多的麻烦。Just imagine, you have to go through the whole thing again, learn Chinese again, <laughs> learn all the Chinese characters again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much headache, so much trouble. Then you have to go and find a job. You have to get married again. You have to have children again. Oh, so much suffering. And then again, old age, disease. And again, the final test. The final test. Give up the body. So we don't want to fail, we want to pass. Mm. So we have to practice very seriously. Mm. Study the Srimad Bhagavatam, chant Hare Krishna with great devotion, fix the mind on Krishna. Any question? Any comment? Rajendra Prabhu? <laughs> so, uh, when, when, after practicing Krishna consciousness, some, some nobody devotee will become uh, averse to family relationship and the parents will think the children have to become so cold-hearted and there's no, no love. And um, even some while they have a bad relationship with, uh, with husband and after practicing the relationship can even worse. And they think that what he is so um, hard-hearted with no love. So how to deal with such a situation? Well, they don't know what love is. Of a real love is caring for the soul. Love is it's not just you know hold somebody's hand and tell them I love you. <laughs> no, love is to understand the real per person. If we don't love the body, nobody loves a dead body. We love the soul. The soul is a part of Krishna. So real love is to awaken that consciousness of Krishna. Of course, we have to do it in a nice way. You don't want to be uh, cold and hard-hearted. At the same time, you have to understand the responsibility of the human life. We can waste our whole life just being in the body concept consciousness and speak about love Prabhupada wrote his article about truth and beauty right truth he said the, is the truth are, is, is, is beauty compatible with truth? 
，这个文章的标题是“真理和美是兼容还是不兼容”。In the material world, we talk about beauty. We're very concerned about bodily beauty, but it's very temporary. The beauty of the body does not last. Of course, people try hard, and when the hair goes grey, they'll put the black paint on it to make the hair look black, although it's all grey. And when the skin all wrinkles, we'll put cream on to fill up the cracks. Mm. Mm. We try to keep the body beautiful, but it's it's you can't. So the beauty is not in the body. The real beauty is in the soul. We want to recognize the soul. Understand everybody as being a spiritual person. See the soul in everyone. It's not the body we love. We we love the soul. And there's proper ways to reciprocate as spirit souls. Mm. Offering gifts in charity and accepting charitable gifts, offering prasadam and accepting prasadam. Inquiring confidentially and revealing your mind in confidence. These are the real loving exchanges. So that is real, a real loving exchange between one devotee and another. Not just holding someone's hand. <laughs> Understand? Nimin Ting the Doma? Nimin Tongia? Yeah, if they follow, if she follows her mother, then it's not material. If mother is devotee and she follows her mother, then it's not material. Right. The mother is practicing Krishna consciousness and the daughter follows the mother, it's very good. Just like Bajahari Prabhu, Bajahari, you know, when his mother and father became devotees, I said to them, can you give me your son? And they said, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he's been a devotee ever since. <laughs> and sometimes he thinks to go back to the material world, and after he goes back, quickly he comes back and says, I think I'd rather be a devotee. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that being a devotee is much nicer than being in the material world. Mm. Okay. Yes.
一点都不像个那个什么演员，要像个像个样啊。到时候人也不会追随我们这样历史上的故事。但是我们在做谈车姐的时候，我们要打扮呢，穿的美一点，漂亮点。我们怎么样做是最最适合呢？嗯，所以啊，嗯，我认为是的，这呃，不同。Uh, to make emphasis on the body, beauty, but still, we don't want others to look down upon us. For example, in the Rada Yatra, we uh, put the makeup uh, to look uh, nicer. So how to balance, uh, how to, what's the best way to... Well, yes, we want you to look nice for Krishna. We hope that you are for Krishna. Right, because you're Krishna's devotee, you're representing the devotees, so you want to make yourself presentable. Srila Prabhupada said, when we dress, we dress to, to think how to please others. So, of course, we want to please Krishna, Lord Jagannath, we want to please the devotees. But when you eat, you eat for yourself. No, right, you don't think, oh, they, everybody else is eating this, I should also eat. No, you eat what we know is suitable for your own self. But when it comes to dressing, you have to think about other people. Make yourself presentable. Look attractive. Mm. <laughs> yes, Brinda, another question. soul has a spiritual body. Material body, give up the material body. Or else you can purify the material body, make spiritualize it. Transform your material body to spiritual. Right. The Pandavas went back to Godhead and there's own bodies. Mm -hmm. so, great devotees, they don't, they, they can go back in the, in the same body. Any other question? Ayom, Antima? Ayom. Okay. Woman Jitin Shao, woman your Sankirtan. Harinam Sankirtan. Taman Shiman, woman Chu Nevya Tan Chien Chia de Deepang. Chu Nabiana, woman Fat Dance, Gosu Taman, woman your 
ทันเชียเชียสิ้นชิ้นเลียวทันเชียเชียสวยว่ามันเชียนเชียนชุนในกันดีกว่านี้แค่อีกขั้นอับยันมีเชลิบุษหันยันคือสวยว่ามันเชียวตัวเชียวทำมันเชียวอันไปเชียวสวยจินเทนเชียวชาบดูสี่เดือนบ้านนะ4:30 go go is it 4:30 we go for Sankirtan? Huh? Six o'clock. Oh, Kasho Lude and Jong. Who should sit in man? Lude and Jong. I'm a Lude and Jong too. Six o'clock. But how will we go? They'll arrange. What jelly de miao and pai shia chia dai woman to negative man. ลูเทียนจงโอเคที่มันจะเจนิสไทสูงเจนิสไทมันจะทำทำเจนเจอเจอเจอไฟส์ช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่วยช่